Hey everyone, this is Shanta and I'm back to answer some more questions that I have received. Um, first one that I get a lot has been how long did it take for you to, t to take down your locks? And it was three weeks. And within those three weeks, I didn't necessarily work every day um, because each lock took about a half an hour to an hour to take out. So um, quite time consuming. And some days when I came home from work, I just didn't feel like it. So on average, I say I probably at least did about two a day and then really concentrated on the weekend and getting a lot done. Um, so that's how that worked. It took three weeks and some asked about how did I go to work once I started the process. Well, I started at the nape of the neck and once I got to about right here, I would say, um, that's when I started wearing my hair red head wraps. But prior to that, you know, the, I would take out a lock or take out a couple, twist, uh, two strand twist the hair so that, you know, it could stay together. Uh, and, you know, the hair, my locks on top would either cover it or once it got to the end, you know, closer up, I would put my hair in a ponytail and the you know the ponytail hanging over would basically cover that my hair was that loose behind there and like i said once i got past that point and started getting into the front then i would uh, wear head wraps um i don't own a wig i don't have never had a wig so i didn't know if that was you know that wasn't an option for me um my job's pretty um you know accepting as long as you are professional your demeanor and you know your dress then they didn't have a problem with head wraps and I think head wraps can be very professional so um, there was no issue for me there. Um, I would recommend that if you have a very conservative job and um, you know you don't think that those are options for you, um, I think this weekend that's coming up it's uh, for some it may be a four day weekend call a couple friends and I'm sure you could get it done within these four days if you just concentrated and these were the only thing that you were going to do. Um, like I said, for me, I just stretched it out where I only did maybe one or two a day. So that's why I took that amount of time. Um, another question I've been getting is how has my hair been in these videos? And this is a stale flat iron um, set that I then set on um, pin curls. So my hair was flat ironed and of course because it's humid um, it you know reverted back to turn into a Rudy Huxtable kind of poof thing going on. So I um, what I do at night is I take some of the uh, Jamaican there we go, Jamaican black castor oil on the ends and I take a piece and I do like that and then I pin it with a bobby pin. I see people do their pin curls different. It seems very complicated and I can't do that so it's the way I do it and it gives me something that I'm comfortable with. Um, when you start like first thing in the morning it will be tighter so if you see like my first video it was much tighter and then at the video at the end of the night it was you know larger and this is I've been outside for a while with this so um, of course the humidity and it, it has with that it has expanded and that's fine with me so it I like it in the sense that my hair is stretched but um, it still has texture to it and yeah, one question that I get is how do I like having this, you know, loose hair now? And I will say that is one thing that I do miss. I miss having hair hanging um, around my face or framing my face like I had with the locks. I think I've gone grown accustomed with my hair being that way. And not that I think I look bad when my hair is like in a puff or anything like that. It's just that... Um, it's just not how I've gotten used to seeing myself or you know sometimes it's like when it, it, smallest things like when you put on makeup and 
sometimes it seems like it just doesn't seem the same or doesn't look the same on you because even though this is a look that you do all the time but without having something framing around it just kind of um, for me it just doesn't seem like certain things just don't look the same um, so I but I do like the fact that with natural hair I do have the option that you know I can always blow dry my hair and then put twists in it and they will be elongated or I could do like this I could flat iron my hair and make the curls with the pin curls where it's still curly but it's you know having a little bit of um, hang time to it um, another thing that I'm finding too is uh, I've gotten accustomed to having low maintenance hair and long natural hair is not low maintenance it requires some thought as far as, um, I mean, unless you are, and that's with anything really, but unless you're a person who are sat satisfied with just wearing your hair in, a, you know, afro puff or poof every day, you know, and that's fine, then, you know, you have a very easy routine because that would just involve you getting in the shower, wetting your hair with some conditioner, you know, slicking it back up. Put it on your headband and going so I mean that's that's easy but you know if you want to try to branch out into other things then you know it takes a little thought because there's the tangling and um, you know your nighttime routine to preserve try to preserve your hairstyle all these things that I didn't have to worry about with the locks the rain. I mean, I I didn't own an umbrella until until May. I mean, the girls had an umbrella, but I didn't because it didn't matter. Rain and rain, it just wet because it was the locks. But yeah, now I have to be concerned about you know hair getting wet or you know that kind of stuff. And again, if it's if it's in twists or if it's in a puff, then of course who cares. But, you know, if you do things like this, so you have your hair flat ironed or that kind of thing, then you, it's more... Or even some twists and curls. Some twists and curls, if it gets too much moisture into it, then it just turns into a, a, a fro, a kind of curly fro, which is fine, but it's maybe not the, the hairstyle that you had in mind, or it's not lasting as long as you would have wanted it to, so now you're having to redo your hair in the middle of the week where you was thinking you would have until the weekend or something like that. So, so it's getting used to it. Um, I was asked about hairstyles, will I be doing hair tutorials? And as soon as I learn how to do something, I will most definitely be here on here to show you guys. Um, I see a lot of videos where, you know, basically everybody's doing the same thing. I mean, if you were like Sean the 715's perspective on pin curling or flat ironing or flat twist or you know, two strand twists, you know, I'd be more than happy to oblige you with that. Um, it's just I, I do see a lot of it on here already. Um, and there's only but so many ways that you can do something, but hey, you know, I, I wouldn't mind if you would like to see it. Um, so far, I um, haven't really got into style styles. I plan to try to do a mohawk eventually um, with my out hair. Um, certain things like that. If I do a full head of two strand twists then I would definitely be able to help uh, some of my shorter lock subscribers as well as my twist wearers could be able to show them some styles with the shorter hair that I wasn't able to do with the longer locks. Um, let's see. Am I forgetting anything? Let me see if I can see a question on my phone really quickly. Okay, yes. I was asked by Kaylee if I thought uh, sister locks could be taken out and I would think that that would probably be more trouble than it would be worth to try to take out sister locks. Um, the loops I think would just be too small, too tight and the lock in themselves would be so little that it probably would not be worth it. You'd be doing all that untangling for to to have one one strand of hair, you know, from coming from your scalp. So I I would not attempt it with sister locks. 
Okay, so of course I will probably be back later on today as I get questions in my inbox. Um, so until then, peace.